Hi there. As our school goes virtual this year, there are so many hurdles that teachers have had to jump through. One of them being that when we go to model stuff on our computers, we're not quite sure how different it looks on the kids' devices. So I've decided to go ahead and get one of the, the devices that the kids have and do a video series modeling what it looks like on their end. Um, and I thought, what better way to start off that series than an unboxing video? So here we go. So this is the device that Shelby County School students have been given. Um, the ones who have gotten tablets, it's the Microsoft Surface Go 2. The ones that they have are the base model. Since this was a personal purchase and I will be using it for stuff other than school, I did spring for the uh, slightly better processor and a little extra storage memory. So let's get into this puppy. Okay, so I do admit that I opened the box beforehand just to charge it up, but when you get the box and open it up, it comes like this with the device on top. You lift the device, and then you have the manual and the charger. I took my charger out already so I could charge it. Um, the rest of the box is just packaging. It doesn't come with the keyboard. The keyboard cost extra. Um, as well as the Surface Pen Stylus that Microsoft makes. I will admit that it's pretty sleek. Um, I don't see a port for the Surface Pen to charge, which I think is something that they do with some of the better Surfaces. Um, this is just a Surface Go, not a Surface Pro. It has a US, not, um, it has a USB-C cord, a headphone jack. There is, looks like this is an no, this is the charger point. So the charger is magnetic, kind of just sits in there like that. You pull it out um, and then it snaps right on in. Um, at the top, you've got the power button, volume buttons. And then on the bottom, it has the magnets and connections for the keyboards that Microsoft makes. Um, and then it has the kickstand which pops up so you can set it down and view it at a comfortable angle, which is a pretty cool feature to be built into your tablet. So we will go ahead and power it up. This is the first time I'm turning it on, so we'll see how it behaves. Hi there, I'm Cortana and I'm here to help. A little sign in here, a touch of Wi-Fi there, and we'll have your PC ready for all you plan to do. Use your voice or the keyboard along the way, and if you'd like me to stay quiet, just select the little microphone icon towards the bottom of your screen. If you need an assistive screen reader, press the Windows, Control, and Enter keys at the same time to turn on Narrator. Okay, enough intro. Let's dig in. So when I first open it up, when it first pops up, um, it gives us a window with some tips and tricks. One of the definite ones, I know I'm going to be doing a video on this skill for the kids. Um, so I'm not going to dig into those yet because I'm going to be doing individ individual videos for different things that the kids can do with their devices. Even in setup though, I have already noticed something huge that many of us educators probably haven't thought about. So most of us are using either district issue lap laptops, um, laptops that we have purchased for personal use as well, or if we have a tablet like this, we also have a keyboard that goes with it um, if we have gotten it for ourselves. But the thing is, our K-2 through students were not given keyboards to go with their tablets. And a huge thing that I have noticed is the difference in the on-screen keyboard as opposed to a physical keyboard that we're used to looking at. So when I go to type something in, the keyboard pops up. It takes up about a third of the screen. Um, the, there is a typical US layout at first. Um, you have all of your keys in the right place. You have your shift keys. Um, the, you have a back, uh, 
forward, you can go forward or you can go back. Um, but the biggest thing that I noticed was when you go to hit all of the other controls and whatnot, it's a little button here and then it splits the screen like this and this is what it looks like for the kids. So a lot of that modeling with, a, with an actual keyboard um, is not going to be effective for these kids, especially these little kids that um, may not know how to figure this out for themselves if they haven't been exposed to technology in the past, which some of our kids haven't. So I do think that it's super important for educators to know that their keyboard layout on screen looks so different than an actual keyboard. Um, and if you are trying to model keyboard lessons with them, um, you'll be fine as far as like your ABCs and your shift key and all that. But once you do get to special characters and numbers, it does look very, very different. Another thing that I have noticed is the Microsoft, oh, oh it's snapping to my settings now. Um, the Microsoft Edge symbol looks different on their tablets than it does on my computer. On my computer, it's a little bit more colorful. It looks like a wave, and I'll probably um, edit in a photo of what it looks like on my computer. So when I've been telling kids to go to Microsoft Edge and showing them what it looks like on my computer, it looks totally different on theirs. Um, you'll see that. Sorry, I don't know why it went out of focus like this. Um, but you'll see right now, um, since I just set up my device and I logged in with my own personal Windows account, everything is starting to sync and all my personal features are starting to pop up. Um, when I type in my search bar, it recommends to update too. So this is what Microsoft Edge looks like on my computer. And this is what it looks like when you first bring the device and it recommends that you download it early. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe and stay tuned for more tech tips with Trejo.